Welcoming Bob to the Hall of Fame are two West Virginia icons whose pictures were on my wall as a kid, Rod Thorne and Jerry West. Please welcome Bob Huggins. Good evening. I'm blessed to be a part of this prestigious class and truly humbled to be a part of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. It's truly an honor to be on stage and be presented by two great West Virginians, two of the best ever play at West Virginia University, and two individuals that have had a resounding impact in basketball history at the collegiate level and at the professional level. I idolized Jerry West and Rod Thorne when I was growing up and what a pleasure it is to have them on stage with me and to join them as the third West Virginia University alum to be introduced into the Hall of Fame. It's something that... <clears throat> it's something that I always cherish and it's truly an honor. Thank you both. Congratulations to my Hall of Fame class of 2022. Since our weekend to the Final Four in April, I've really enjoyed getting to know them and hear stories of their playing and coaching careers. I'd like to extend my sympathies to the family of my fellow inductee and West Virginia native, referee Hugh Evans. It was an honor to have met Hugh at the Final Four. Thank you to the Hall of Fame voters and the Naismith Memorial Hall of Fame for selecting me to be worthy of induction and to Jerry Colangelo for his contributions for all that he does for basketball and for the Hall of Fame. You're allowed to clap, I think. I'm not real sure of the rules, but you know, well, let's, let, let's just make them as we go. Um, my introduction to basketball came in a very early age. I was born in Morgantown, where both my parents were raised. I can remember sitting on my grandfather's lap listening to West Virginia games on the radio. I was the oldest of seven children and the son of a basketball coach. We moved to Midville, Ohio when I was nine years old. It offered my dad a full-time teaching job and an opportunity, a coaching opportunity. My dad became a decorated coaching legend in Eastern Ohio. My dad and Pennsylvania coaching legend Ed McCluskey purchased an old farm in Ohio to start a training center for basketball camps, which my brother still runs today. My dad was a great disciplinarian on the court, and he taught me so much. Midville, Ohio, a town of 500 people. I got in a truck with this guy one day, and I looked, and he didn't have a rear mirror, rear view mirror. I said, you don't have a rear view mirror. He said, we ain't going backwards, boy. <laughs> so. When I listen to the radio and see if we're going to have school, they would say, Midvale Mine, number nine, will work. It was never they won't work. And that's how I've lived my life, not looking back and hard work. In 1972, we won the Ohio High School State Champ Basketball Championship, and I signed to, signed to play basketball at Ohio University. Due to a change in coaching after my freshman season, I transferred to West Virginia University. I graduated from WVU and was going to be either a physical therapist or go to law school. I had signed with Philadelphia 76ers as a free agent. Got cut, too, by the way. I, <laughs> I attended summer camp and was one of the last three cuts. I, I love to tell you this story, I don't have time. Uh, <laughs> I came back to Morgantown and I really didn't want to coach, but the opportunity was right. I found some graduate classes to take and Coach Jody Gardner offered me a spot as a graduate assistant. After a, 
coaching change. I called Chuck Mashak, who was an assistant at WVU when I played, and then was at Ohio State. Chuck talked to Coach Eldon Miller, and he hired me at Ohio State. I couldn't have worked for a better person than Coach Miller. I was then fortunate to take my first head coaching job at Walsh College. This is wrong. We actually had 17 people there, not 37. I counted every one of them. <laughs> and we had great success after that first year, and we were 34-1 and one my last year. Chuck Mayshock talked me into going to Central Florida as an assistant, but I really wanted to be a head coach again. I became the head coach at the University of Akron and helped build their program. And then I took a job at the University of Cincinnati, where we went to the postseason in each of my 16 years. When I was at Cincinnati, and, uh, <clears throat> when I was at Cincinnati, my mother died of colon cancer in 2004. She was my best friend, the person I could talk to about anything. We wanted to do something to support my mother's memory and find a cure for cancer. My family and I started the Norman May Huggins Research Endowment Fund at WVU, and we have raised more than $16 million to help find a cure for cancer. <clears throat> I coached at Kansas State for one season, and I, I really loved it there, especially the people. But when the job opened at West Virginia, I wanted to come home. And I've been there for the last 15 years. Some of the greatest times of my life have been here, and this has been a dream for me to coach here at my alma mater. I'm blessed and grateful for all the great people that basketball has put in my life. <clears throat> Three most important people in my life are my wife, Jen, our daughters, Jenna and Jackie. Since I started coaching basketball, I've been a hard worker, and I've spent a lot of time away from home with coaching and recruiting. They're the definition of a coach's family, and I appreciate their support. I love you all. <clears throat> to all the guys I've had the pleasure of coaching, to my assistant coaches, support staff throughout my career, and to my teammates, I thank each and every one of you. I wish all of you could be here with me tonight. This induction is about you and how you played a role in me being who I am tonight. You're all my guys, and I'm very proud and love all of you so much. I'll cherish our relationship forever. To all my friends, supporters of the basketball programs where I've coached and mentors in the coaching profession, Coach Gardner, Coach McCluskey, Coach Miller, Charlie Spoonauer, Coach Knight, Jim Beheim, and the list goes on and on. Thank you for your friendship and the impact that you made in my life. To my late parents, my two brothers, four sisters, and all my extended family, you all mean the world to me. I can't tell you what it means to walk out on the court and see you sitting there in stands and cheering for my teams. I wouldn't be staying here tonight if it wasn't for your love and support over the years. Finally, I'm forever grateful to be enshrined with the basketball legends in this Hall of Fame. I am truly blessed and extremely humbled to be joining you. Thank you.